Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Grace Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer, we're going to continue on with the beers that Greg sent me. Uh, this is another vitamin, vitamin C brewing. This is their Elusive. Uh, this is a 6.8 percenter. And he writes on this one, this was a contribution to the beer mail package from his friend Richie. Uh, this is rounding out this package with the elusive Great White Quail. Uh, like I said, 6.8%. Uh, these guys are up in Massachusetts, and they are making some awesome beer, guys. If you're in the vicinity of this brewery, you need to check them out. Uh, Untapped says, IPA brewed with Citra, Simcoe, and Mosaic Hops. Three awesome hop varieties, uh, guys. Uh, I have brewed with all three of these hops, and they are very, very tasty. Uh, this, so this is a three hop beer, where yesterday's beer was single hop citra. Uh, so we should have some, some more aromas and flavors to go along with this. And uh, just want to do a shout out to uh, Greg and Richie uh, for sending me the beers, and to uh, Dino, uh, the founder of uh, Vitamin C Brewing. Uh, would love to get up there and meet you one day. Uh, we don't have anything else. Looking at the pictures here, it does look like a New England style beer. Uh, and being 6.8, I have seen breweries that call a 6.8 a double, but I, I don't consider it a double until it gets to 8. But once it gets to 7 point whatever, 7.5, they can call it whatever. I've seen beers called porters that look like stouts and beers that look that were stouts that were called porters. So, uh, they can call it whatever they want to call them, guys. So uh, it all depends on you know what they want to do, and it all depends on you too, uh, what you want to drink, uh, and how big a ABV you want to drink. Some people like to drink a 4.7 percent stout. Some people want to drink a 9, 10, 11, 12 percent stout. So it all depends on where your palate is and what you'd like to drink, uh, and uh, and all that. So uh, beer tastes are very subjective. Uh, so. Buy what you want to buy, guys. Uh, if you don't want to buy a whole four-pack or a six-pack of something, pick one of them up if that state allows you to buy singles. Some states don't. Uh, and if you like it, go buy more. So that's that's the easy way to sell that. I mean, if, if you don't want to buy a whole six-pack and the state lets you buy singles, pick up one. Do you a mixed six-pack or a four-pack or something. And if you like it, you can always go back and buy more of it. So, uh, that being said, we've covered everything. Let's look at this thing on the bottom. It says, turn the corner. Canned on 0917 of 20. So, a uh, couple of weeks old. Plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Let's get it popped open and get it in the glass. Very, clear, very cloudy, very hazy coming out of the can here, guys. Definitely looks like a New England style beer. Nice creamy head, looks like it's pouring on it. We're going to do a little swirly swirl, and that usually generates a bigger head. So, But we want to get all the goodies that may have settled. I doubt if anything has been only a couple of weeks in the can. About two fingers of head on that pour. Uh, excellent looking beer. Over into the light. None at all, guys. Very cloudy, very hazy. Definitely looks like a New England style beer. Through the nose we go, and the bubbles are a little bit bigger, a little tighter on this side, but a little bit bigger on this, on this side, so uh, that's a good looking beer. Very nice. Oh yeah, and the aroma, the hop aroma is off the chain, guys. I mean, it is absolutely awesome. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple, 
mango. Some stone fruit in there. Maybe a hint of some peaches. Well, awesome aromas. When they use multiple hops, you, you, you get a wide variety of them. Because each hop has its own characteristics. And when they do multiple hop additions, uh, I mean, you get a whole plethora of, of different aromas and flavors there. So, uh, single hop beers are good. But the multiple hop beers, man, bring a whole smorgasbord. Like going to the buffet. I mean, look at all this. And smelling all those different aromas and tasting all those different aromas. So, let's dive in. Here's Greg, Richie, and Dino. a delicious beer. Uh, I had no doubt. All their beers are delicious to me, guys. They don't make any crappy beers. Uh, I wish we had some breweries around here that produce this. Now, I will say this. Uh, there is one brewery in uh, downtown Run of Big Lick that's producing some of these styles from what I hear, and they are canning them. But the only place I can get them is the craft beer store across town. Uh, none of the Kroger stores or the little gas station slash beer stores carries their beers. And I want to get over there. And I haven't been to that brewery. And I know both. I know the head brewer and owner and stuff of that. And I need to get down there. But I just don't do a lot of that. Going to breweries and drinking beers and then trying to drive home or, or any of that kind of crap. I don't do that. When I was younger, I'd... I did that all the time, and I was damn lucky I never got a DUI, I'd knock on wood. But I just try not to do that anymore. I, uh, it's not, it's just not a good idea. It's just not a good idea. Now, maybe I can go down there and have one and get some to go, or, or go out and see uh, uh, the guys at the beer store across town and pick some up and bring them back, or I'm not trying to drive inebriated or anything like that. It's not a good thing nowadays, so you don't want to do that. Mm. Super delicious. A lot of flavors and, and aromas with this beer. Three excellent hops. Uh, Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. Very, very tasty. All right, a little swirly swirl, and look, it's already leaving an excellent lacing on the glass. So we're going to do the back end pour. Uh, we're going to go out there and put a muzzle on that dog. <laughs> There's nobody out there. He just, we got new neighbors, and they got a dog, and they let him out. And he just stands out there and barks just to hear himself bark. And somebody needs to pop him on the butt with a newspaper. Make him shut up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna sip on this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on for a while now. Outstanding lacing on the glass. Very impressive beer in the glass. Uh, I would buy this beer, guys, if I could get it here. No doubt about it in my mind. Uh, it's six point eight percent, not quite to the seven percent, which my go-to beers are. But I would buy this beer if I could get it here. It's close enough to me and tasty enough to me that I would spend my money on this beer. So, very well done beer. And I'm going to go against the grade on this like I do a lot of times. Uh, cause, and I had one of my subscribers post on one of the uh, beer mail videos that I posted. Uh, Seems like everybody's sending you IPAs. Uh, is it just me? No, but I get other things. I mean, I get sours and pilsners and stouts and and other things. But IPAs and double IPAs are my favorite. I'm a hophead. I, I like those hoppy beers, and when they're done as well as this, very impressive beers to me. I mean, I love this style of beer. They have ruined my palate uh, with all the hop aroma and taste that I get from these beers. So, you guys that in the vicinity of these breweries that make these styles of beers and make them very well, like vitamin C does, you're some lucky suckers. That's all I can say. I wish I had breweries around me that produce this kind of beer. Uh, but they don't. They do not. They're more into the transitional beers. And 
if you're a seasoned craft beer drinker or been drinking craft beers for a while, you don't want a transitional beer. You don't want to buy a transitional beer or a low ABD beer. You know, some of you young cats uh, like those sessionable beers and where you can drink multiples of them and not be too inebriated. But I'm not in that category anymore. I can only have two or three a day, and I want I want the bang for my buck. Uh, that's basically the bottom line there, guys. I don't want to buy a 4.7 percent beer. Uh, it doesn't have enough taste for me, and uh, I'm not going to session it. Uh, I'm not going to drink three, four, five, six of them at a, at a setting. I never drink the same beer twice in the same day. I don't do it. I want some variety. That's just that's me. That's just the way I am. I want to taste different stuff. Uh, I don't want to drink the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, uh, so that's just me, though. That's just my opinion. That's just me. This is a outstanding beer in my opinion, guys. With the three hops they've used, it is very, very impressive. Final choke. Absolutely delicious, guys. You need to pick this up if you're in the vicinity of this brewery and you can get your hands on it. Especially if you like this style of beer. If you don't like this style of beer, don't buy it. If you do, buy it. I would. I would spend my money on it. So, to me, guys, it's it's a ten. It's it's an A plus. Uh, it's world class. Uh, I can't think of a single thing that I would say to change it, make it any better, or anything like that. It's got all the hop aroma and hop taste that this guy's looking for. So, it's a ten. Over to Bear Advocate, they have a score of ninety two, outstanding. So I'm gonna scroll down. It's only got one guy posting on it. So where did they get their grade if they're holding it back? I don't understand how that, what they're doing over there. They spoke with some good shit, that's all I can say. Over to Untap, they have it at 4.25, which is in their A range. And I think it's a little better than that. So, like I said, I'm going against the grade on this one. Not because it was sent to me and I didn't pay for it. I would pay for this beer. And I would still give it the same grade. I mean, it's, it's, it's everything that I'm looking for in a beer. I don't know what else to say there, guys. I mean, it's it's a very well done New England style IPA. So, with that being said, if you've had an elusive from Vitamin C Brewing, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.